Hello and welcome to another daily run. So today we're going to watch my replay. As you can see, I did go away in the first level, but you got to hear me out. I tried something really cool and there was up until a point I thought I could actually pull it off. So let's watch my replay. So first room I always find is the, you know, the danger room. I wonder if they keep it in there for any reason. Does anyone actually fall for it and die? I don't know. But I was very excited here that I did find the mystery shrine. Because I'm guaranteed a weapon that is better than my dagger. And for me, any weapon is better than a dagger. So I get the mystery weapon. And I, at this point, have no idea what it could be. I'm just like, okay, it has a range of two. Great. So I take a hit there, um, you know, my bad. I have really no excuse as to why, I just got hit. And then here I decide to check out the shop. So at the shop, I'm like, I need to have that battle shovel for that extra, you know, strength. And then here I got my bright torch. I'm very happy about my bright torch. I love having my bright torch. And then I kill the bat, kill all these monsters. And I'm just making my way downtown, you know, killing stuff. Now, in hindsight, I should have used my cool new shovel to go check out that hidden room. Spoiler alert, I don't. But I do get the drumsticks from that thing, and I'm like, great. My plan is to try to get that battle shovel. And then I'll use the drumsticks when I'm at low health. Perfect. So here I am just trying to amass as much coins as possible. Like, I'm trying to kill everything. I'm trying to take whatever I can channel. Man. There was like money down there. And I totally didn't see it until I watched this replay. <sighs> Past Carla is going to be so upset. But it's fine. So I go up here. I'm like, I don't have enough money. So let me go blow up a wall. So I knew if I blew up one of these walls, I would have enough gold. Just enough to get my battle shovel. Which I do. I get it. It's amazing. Perfect play. I would have not done anything else different except for maybe, you know, using the shovel to, uh, to see what's up in that room. As soon as I went down the floor, I was like, man, I messed up. But I was still reeling and really excited about my amazing play that I was like, you know what? Doesn't matter. This run is going to be great. So I go up to the shop. There I am at the shop. I see the cursed heart container. I have a chicken leg, but I need money. So my new battle plan on this floor. Make enough money to get that cursed heart. Eat chicken. Get an extra heart. Be awesome. So not a difficult order to do. I'm just there killing things. I am pretty confident at this point that I have the rapier item. That's why whenever I charge forward, um, I do a lot more damage. So like at this point, I know what kind of weapon I got. It just took me a hot minute, but like I know I'm doing mad damage. So I'm just like super psyched. So here I am killing things. And I made a mental note to myself when I was in this room that I was not allowed to go down to the next floor until I got my cursed um, heart container. So I did some really cool buffering there. Very proud of myself that, you know, I thought about buffering so I didn't take any damage or lose a beat. And now I'm going to go up and get my cursed heart container. So watch me do my little jumpies and my little movements in the beat of the music until I mess up. Because, you know, as soon as I brag about it, you know, the, the, the me that's playing has to mess up. I really wish I had the ring of regen because I really wanted that ring too. But I knew that the cursed heart was going to be eh, more useful to me. So I learned from a previous run that I shouldn't just go to the next floor just because I think I got everything. I should explore everything. I think like one of the runners I've watched found something really awesome that I was really upset that I didn't find it. So here I am just thinking about whether or not there's any way I can get that regen ring. I ultimately decide that there's nothing I can do. So then I just decide to hop down to the next floor. And I go the long route. Or the proper way. 
So here's the floor where, like, I die. So, I go check out the shop. I'm like, I'm not going to get any glass things because me and glass were just not BFFs. And here I am killing enemies. Now, here is where I messed up. So I thought, I've been watching so many speedruns of these, like, pro players using the dragon to destroy walls. So I was like, let me lure this big bad boy into this shop. And I'm pretty confident until I get to the bottom. Then I realize, fuck, I'm not going to be able to make it. And then that's when he kills me. Now, what I think is really upsetting is that I think here, there's a bomb. All of this could have been avoided had I just explored the floor, gotten the bomb, fought my red dragon the usual way I do, which is nice, safe, and simple. But no, I got egotistical. I wanted to follow in the footsteps of all the grand masters that I watch. And I was like, I can manipulate this big boy to destroy a couple walls. Why not? But it didn't work out that way. So it led to an early grave for my poor character. But ultimately, I had a good laugh about it. You know, I, I always tell you guys when I'm watching these things that I'm not going to do risky plays because I see other people do it. This is one of the runs where I got a little cocky. I got a good weapon on the first floor. I got my bright torch. I got a really good backpack. I got a cursed heart. I was going really well. And this is one of the instances where I was getting really good items. But my cockiness got in the way and um, I died. So I guess I'll try again tomorrow. No biggie. <laughs>